Google Cloud and AI uh, and Data uh, Summit. And what I want to do is is hit on one announcement in particular, <clears throat> and that is uh, some changes that were made to uh, BigQuery. So first of all, BigQuery is a fully managed data warehouse uh, that is SQL based, uh, that is real time using large data sets. There's also an element called BigQuery Omni uh, that goes across uh, it is a multi-cloud offering that goes across AWS and Microsoft uh, Azure that, that I think is, is pretty big. But what the company did is they introduced uh, what is uh, essentially a, a what is called BigQuery uh, additions. And what, what they brought out was three different versions of this moving away from an, an all you can eat options. So they have the standard, they have enterprise and, and enterprise plus. Uh, standard is better for ad hoc development, test workloads. Uh, enterprise uh, is for more uh, production workloads for security governance, machine learning and data management integrated. And then the plus is really about uh, high mission critical workloads uh, demand the, the highest uptime availability and recovery uh, in highly complex regulatory needs. This to me indicates a maturation of, of Google uh, Cloud and, and, and I love it. What this means, I mean, every time, anytime you see somebody uh, do segmentation, it is, it is that they recognize that the business is so big, we cannot uh, peanut butter spread this. Adding the potential complexity of three different versions optimizes profits and gives customers what they want to pay for. And if you look at the pricing, the Enterprise Plus is two and a half times the expense of standard. And that makes sense when you're doing, when you're developing ad hoc testing workloads, you don't need all the bells and whistles that, that Enterprise uh, Plus uh, 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 provides you. Uh, they also added uh, things like auto scaling, which is nice, which is essentially nothing more then you only pay for what you get, right? And I really liked uh, the way that the company outlined uh, who could use this, right? Retailers having these spiky uh, workloads, maybe scaling a few hours, a few times a year. I've always used retail as a really good use case, particularly on the transaction side uh, based on uh, that workload. Um, Analysts compiling quarterly reports, startups managing unpredictable needs at the beginning, digital natives putting in variable demand, healthcare during seasonal outbreaks. So uh, hats off to Google Cloud and their day-to-day. -day. They had a, a two or three more announcements, but I thought that this was most um, the most important uh, one out there. And is, if nothing else, we've seen Google do... Um, use data as a land and expand into more of the pedestrian type of uh, workloads. Well, if it says anything, Pat, I plan to stand up our data warehouse on BigQuery at Futurum and the Futurum group. So, oh, so you've made that decision. I have. Wow. I made that decision. So, you know, the company does, does a lot of things right. And when it sort of gets uh, disproportionate attribution and credit for uh, what it's been able to do for AI and analytics, um, that stands true and, and, and our new CTO agreed. That that's the uh, the right platform. I thought some of the uh, you know some of the interesting you know announcements came around Looker. I thought you know driving you know its business intelligence. It was a, a small acquisition for Google at two point six billion, but you know the continued advancement in that particular area. You know it's not just about being able to warehouse the data. It's about being able to visualize the data, um, and also just like the general kind of auto scaling capabilities. I thought were really impressive. Um, I think it's interesting, you know, this week, I don't know if you heard, Pat, but Google kind of uh, went out and made some claims about Microsoft, um, you know, feeling that there's some some antitrust and interesting. And while that's not specific to this data and AI summit, it is kind of interesting. Related. It is kind of related right now that one company feels like it's playing a little bit more fair and the other one is playing a little bit less fair. I'm not saying I haven't read into it too much yet. But what I will say is I feel like Google's been very, very focused on advancing its product, advancing its technology. Um, being uh, focused on giving customers what they need, being price competitive. Um, and I think that, you know, while Thomas Curian needs to get this thing to profitability, I think he's got some runway left to do that.
but I also think building the best moats for certain capabilities. And I mean, what better place to be right now, Pat, than AI?